client, John Baker, from RotacRepair.ca. Had to do with this short video today. I'm taking apart a 582 with a blue head for an inspection. And apparently changing the oil in the rotary case was not in the maintenance schedule for this one. So we can see this is the uh, tube that the rotary valve oil line goes onto. And that goopy stuff dripping out of there is possibly was two stroke oil in there like it should have been but it looks like it has a fair amount of water mixed in with it and when the all of this black ooze all over the place here looks like something from the Exxon Valdez came out of the tank along with this goopy looking solid kind of sludge here so lesson here is we need to be changing the rotary valve oil every 100 hours. And if it starts to come out looking like that, then you know it's time to stop. You've definitely got a problem that needs to be investigated. So you may ask, how can it get water in there? It certainly can't get there from the inside of the engine, so it has to come from entering into the reservoir. So let's have a look at the reservoir and of course the lid, the cap is in terrible condition. It's all cracked, it's got a piece missing out of it. And let's take it off. And oh my goodness, look at that. It doesn't even have the gasket inside of it or the seal, whatever you'd like to call it. So that hole that's in the top that you can see in the lid was open to the atmosphere all the time for any rainwater that wanted to go in there to go right inside and mix with the fluid. So mystery solved, we know where the water came from. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Have a great day. Bye now.